All right, guys, so it's, it's late evening at Cadwell Park. I've uh, just come in, had a wee, and uh, I'm walking uh, on the infamous uh, kind of, I call it, I don't know, alleyway or something, to, uh, which, which leads you to the, to the, um, to where everyone gets together before going out uh, on a track day. I've never been here for racing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you. So I'm here with my lovely car and trailer. Massive shout out to Bikers World, John Coughlin. He's got a screw and a, um, a bush for my steering damper. So I'm going to grab that off him later. However, I'm, I never knew. Well, I did knew. I read, I read the briefing. I never knew before reading the briefing that uh, there is a, a special place where endurance racers park or set up in the lovely marquees, uh, which um, I'm, I'm sure no limits set them up, no limits racing. So uh, let me take you with me to that. So basically it's a bit like Mallory Park. We're gonna go to the circuit. We're gonna drive um, on the circuit. And uh, yeah, let me take you with me. So. Well, I'm off. I'm off road now, so uh, no one can do me over for holding my phone and driving. So, uh, yeah. So let's go. I've got my. Oh, there's a lovely little girl with her dad. Definitely, definitely don't want to run her over. Well, the bloody headlights have turned on. Uh, that's how dark it is here. But been told I need to strictly do 10 miles an hour here I'm actually doing five so uh, yeah massive shout out to Paul Rennie the no limits uh, social media chap I'm sure he's got uh, a funky title than that so uh, alrighty then so let's go to the circuit uh, oh, I just got to be careful my trailers don't knock over any cones that's the lovely cafe that's where people stand outside the cafe to admire people's wheelies and if you're not from the UK that is the mountain there uh, where the horizon ends um, so yeah and that's the main straight there that is but just past that building so okay let's go oh my goodness we've got oncoming traffic I bet he's uh, also endurance oh he just waved at me, at me. he must know me um, good thing is I came to the track and a few people knew me from the videos and stuff and uh, that is very nice straight away uh, it's always nice so look at that pram not a pram like a kiddie stroller thing kids with bicycles this is the beauty of racing you know look at that you know what honestly I never you don't even look at this lay by when you're doing track days this kind of uh, little side road look at all the kids teenage kids really with bicycles i saw these girls wheeling a few more minutes ago so they are talented uh, girls uh, doing some wheelies on the lovely bikes okay here we are so i am i think marquee number four or garage number four so yeah look at that guys bloody hell lovely marquees all right i better get the bike out all right, welcome back guys. So I'm at the start finish straight at Cadwell Park. Okay, this is the stuff you don't uh, really see very often. I was actually gonna do a full track walk in my last, um, I'm gonna put a footage of that right now. I was doing a full track walk. Honestly, it was gonna be like a half an hour track walk to show you the different kind of ridges, uh, kind of uh, undulating tarmac, which is plenty here. But unfortunately, my gimbal's battery died and my gimbal just went whoop like that. So I couldn't do that. But uh, yeah, I did try to record quite a bit of it, but I couldn't. But honestly, I've never been, I've never walked here. So there's a building there, which you never see when you're riding plenty of miles an hour, 150 odd miles an hour here. There's some televisions there. I think that's the race control. They've got a massive antenna, some balconies. That, that building reminds me of the houses in India. That's how we got houses in India, flat roofs and, uh, and balconies. And uh, yeah, you can see there some televisions with the Cadwell Park's uh, uh, map and stuff uh, on it. So the problem I have now, okay? So I'm here, there's a few other teams there. By the way, if who has never, did you know, I'm sure the racers will know, but the track day people don't. There's a house there at Cadwell Park, a lovely cottage um, hidden in the trees, which uh, not many people knew. I might 
be able to take you there in a minute. Actually, let, let's walk that way. So what I need to do basically, <laughs> set up myself in the marquees. Let's get the focus out. Set up myself in these, in these marquees, but then the scrutineering is all the way up there. Um, so <laughs> this is gonna be a bit tricky. I don't know how I'm gonna, I don't know how that's gonna happen because scrutineering is now closed. As usual, I'm pretty late. Look at that, look at the race fuel can. Look at that. Racing fuel, racing fuel, racing fuel. Um, anyways, I rely on Shell Premium. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's have a quick look. So these are uh, some of the other endurance competitors here. Hope you can hear me, guys. I don't have a proper mic on. I'm just relying on uh, the mic of the phone um, and stuff. But yeah, look at that. That is a lovely building. Lovely, lovely building there. I think it's got a bit of a facade to make it look pretty because if you'll see the roof, the roof tiles are falling apart. So um, I think they put a bit of a facade on there um, to make it lovely and nice. Okay, so let's actually get the bike off the trailer and put it in this lovely place. Shall I show you before the daylight runs out? I'm pretty sure and on race day you will, uh, you will see this. This is bigger than Croft, bigger than Croft. So that is my team. They've come here well in advance. Jamie Harris and Jimmy work and they've gone through scrutineering already so I'll have to do all that in the morning uh, yeah let's get out and uh, get my bike get my bike off uh, before it gets really dark catch you in a bit <laughs> all right just for the laugh this is <laughs> this is our our uh, uh, transport the bike in an old Indian blanket I call it Indian blanket it's made in bloody South Korea but yeah cover the whole bike with that so god forbid if the ratchets or anything fail and the bike falls that blanket protects it so yeah let's get the bike down okay so unloading the bike just the bike because uh you know we're we one of the last people to uh, so that's the in the doghouse team in the doghouse yes that is a racing name in the doghouse and uh, whoa well, what's happened here oh we were gonna have they closed this uh, we are meant to, oh, we need to make a three-point turn. I thought we were going to go through this part, but yeah. <laughs> well, I hope I don't have to make a three-point turn. I've got a bloody trailer behind me. I hate making three-point turns on a trailer. Okay, so we are going the wrong way now at um, on the Cadbury Park Main Street. Um, and, ah, this is where. All right, okay, there's a cut here. So what we're trying to do is go back to the paddock, drop my trailer off there, and I go to this lovely, humble, nice uh, bread and breakfast or lodge called Laurel Lodge in Horncastle, I think. Horncastle, if I'm not wrong. So, um, yeah, so let's, this is fun, you know, honestly, even though I don't, I mean, I wish Cadwell Park, that's the mountain, by the way, that's the mountain. Uh, I wish Cadwell Park had proper, um, Pits and paddocks. I'm surprised because Dr. Jonathan Palmer, who owns all the MSV tracks with his son, uh, uh, I forgot his name, Jolian Palmer, um, he's done a really great job in all the circuit, but I think he's probably deliberately left Cadwell like this, foresty, lovely and nice, and not put uh, any, um, any kind of garages uh, and a proper paddock. So, uh, yeah. So let's go behind the indoor in the doghouse team because what I'm trying to do is park with them so my trailer is safe. Well, it should be safe, anyways. You know, not saying not saying paddock life isn't safe uh, and stuff, but anyhow, got to park somewhere proper. All right, I've got no idea if you could see me or not, but I want to say massive thank you to in the doghouse racing. Yeah. Here we go. That's Saj from in the doghouse <laughs> racing consistent podium winners and we got jack and we got plenty of uh chicken uh, press yeah i think it's pork we, we're not short of boobs here nah. <laughs> yeah so uh, nice setup uh parked the lovely uh, small trailer not right next to them and they've taken some of my stuff in their van so uh yeah time to head off to uh to the lodge or bed and brekkie whatever you want to call it catch you in a bit
Okay, guys, welcome back. So I'm at this lodge or b and I should call it lodge. So I don't know if b and makes a lodge look a bit cheap. I don't know. I don't know. So my first time in a, in a B&B in my life, I've never stayed in a bread and breakfast. So uh, yeah, lovely, really nice. The lady inside was making a jam and a chutney. I mean, how British can you get? So this is Laurel Lodge. I'll show you the photo of the place. And it's about eight miles from Cadwell Park. It was £54 pounds for the night, uh, two uh, single beds. I'll show you that in a minute. But let me take you inside and show you, just like I did at Croft, which I had a, at the Croft circuit, I had a very scary uh, kind of a... Uh, oh, that was like a lodge too. So, uh, all right, let me show you from inside. I will go a bit quiet when I get out of the car because I don't want to bother any people who live inside. So, car's going to get dark. I'm going to get out uh, and I'll show you. And then I'll show you how quirky this place is from inside. Okay, I'll have two talk. That's that lady making chutney. Can you see her? That's that old lady making chutney. All right, let's get inside. All right. I haven't trimmed my beard yet. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Love that. Okay, so here is my, this building I've been told is actually quite new. Uh, I can tell from the doors and the handles and stuff like that, but they've given it a bit of a art decor or I don't know, a bit of, oh, actually a bit of Japanese theme and stuff. So yeah, here's me. So yeah, I put all my stuff. So yeah, massive shout out to 24MX. I have, I don't I have no affiliation with them, but they do very cheap and very good bags and you can have, your name and your number and your nationality uh, um, there as well. And, uh, you know, some Indian people will be thinking, oh, why are you using Union Jack? I am now British, of course, but you can still tell I'm Indian because I buy reduced price energy tablets, <laughs> which I put that in there. So, uh, yeah, I'm always going to be uh, Indian massively. So, yeah, so quite nice, really lovely, nice atmosphere. Little nice touches like that. So, uh, yeah, let me show you the, uh, sorry guys, I'm a bit excited because uh, I am. So yeah, nice shower, nice toilet. What more do you want? I mean, unlike the Croft, uh, you know, the Croft Circuit Lodge, you know, it's not belong, it, it didn't belong to Croft Circuit, but it was private outside somewhere. I had to go outside for the loo, but this is nice and uh, nice and lovely. So, uh, yeah, all my camera kit is there, so I'm I'm doing everything on a mobile phone at the moment. But yeah, and that's uh, as you can tell, I've gone a bit budgety, budget bag, budget bag, budget bag. No Alpine stars, no day and easy. You know, racing. When you start racing, your pockets get a bit lighter. So you got to think of uh, and uh, and yeah, look, look, you can tell I'm Indian because I'm not taking the plastic off. Hey, hey, see, see. I don't, don't worry, guys. I don't put my remote controls in a plastic cover anymore. So uh, yeah, some habits have changed. But uh, yeah, what is that? Is that a naughty chair? Like, what, what is that? Anyways, guys, what I'm gonna do is wear my lovely Japanese themed robe and have a shower and go to bed early. And I'll see you guys in the morning with a bit of a beard trim as well. Catch you guys in the morning.